Uh, hello everyone, this is another CSR Quorum software tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we have discussed using Wizard, which is the most quick, fast, and modeling and designing the column. And the second was importing from the ETABs, much more convenient for uh, a multi story columns design. And now we want to use length, which is the most important part, and we can model, design any kind of section uh, and with any kind of size. And there is no limit about this. So we're going to go in the blank and we will see this page. And in this page, where we should start, we can start by select defining the project name. So let's suppose we want to design a, a composite column, uh, a composite column. And the project name is this one. Then you can give the name, and you also can give the company name and give same description. So such as like this is a pure brick design, or this is a composite column, exterior or interior, anything else. And then you can define the material. So in this um, tutorial, let's suppose we want to use Chinese wood and the concrete with 40 megapascal. And also for the steel material, I want to use the same China H, uh, HRB, which is 400 megapascal yield strength. So I'm going to select the two material. Now we want to go to the drawing area. In the drawing area, we have first part. This is the rebar location, which we want to add the rebar in the cross section. And this is the shape of the concrete column. And here in the other the steel and confinement area and also add some specific shape with using composite and also you can import uh, the txf file and text, uh, text file of the uh, cross section and then you can draw it and also you can export the same drawing cross section to the other software now what we're gonna do is we want to um, list going to use polygon so polygon is you can draw selecting a point and drawing polygon shape you want this is infinite how as much as uh, uh, length you want you can draw in any kind of shape like this and second here is a rectangle you can draw a rectangle you can draw a box so in the pair in a Brief here, mostly they are using a box, which is concrete box, and also circle and pipe, anything of them. So if you want to do edit, just uh, click this and you can change the size of the uh, cross section. So, but uh, what we're gonna do is we want to draw a polygon, a polygon shape, concrete column. I can use called regular polygon here and I'm going to select this one and giving a radius of 3000 millimeter. This is uh, 2018. I can stop it and go to here and I can give 3000. Now here is called the number of sides. So I want the number of sides should be 8. Now I created this sort of column. So what I want to do is I want to create some rebar across this column. So here is the rebar. I can select the circle and in the circle I can give the time uh, the, um, the rebar diameters here. I'm going to go here. So I create them and I can go to select Uh, select this here now we I can change the size so the clear cover I want is 40 millimeter the circular number uh, the circular is 12 I want to extend to more 22 and the diameter I want is diameter 50 <coughs> so one more thing when I given the um, the clear cover 
clear color. So that's the dimension is also here. We go back here. Select just uh, select that point. Yeah, the one of the uh, rebar, and then you can change it. This is uh, three meters from here to here, and I want make it to two eight. So that's very large. So that uh, two. 40 was exactly which caused the 40 millimeter diameter and also you can change the other position of that that number so the uh, rebar is completed so what, what I want to do is I can create a confinement area that, that confinement area means which we are not providing the uh, ties or uh, or horizontal transfers or transfers rebar or straps so instead we defining confinement which the properties of the concrete is about 30 percent or 25 percent uh, higher than the um, carpal area now uh, we want to have some uh, concrete steam shape also inside of the co the concrete or embed so to improve the concrete column behavior so I'm going to add one. I can use this one. This is uh, um, giving or um, actually a very uh, build up, build up section. In case if you want to add, you can select from the shape and you can select which shape you want. Or oh, let me go to the Chinese. Uh, Uh, BS, uh, so Chinese is not available. We can using uh, BS or British. Uh, here, we can go to select it here and using Chinese code here. That was we can draw that specific based on that. Now, uh, this is Chinese code, and I'm going to use uh, I section and W400 by. Uh, I can ask uh, 400 yeah here is I'm going to use this one and I'm going to add so I can add it it's automatically added to the center and I want to delete this this part I deleted that one so now this one is exist but uh, according to this column it's very uh, small uh, we can uh, delete also and adding some uh, other um, build up um, build up section so let's uh, suppose I want to uh, taking this point and adding uh, here and then I want to bring it to the I can go to here and I'm bringing to zero, zero. So actually, this point is bringing to zero, and we do know the exact uh, location of this one. And I can uh, I can select. I can select uh, this one now it's selected and I'm gonna bring it to center of the column so this is almost okay and we are done with the modeling of such kind of column now what we're gonna do is we want to go to the result and we in the loading and define and we want to define uh, the concrete the materials and for this, for, uh, for the concrete, uh, so that for the unconfinement, so we use Mander concrete, and we can go to here in the material in the section. Let's go to here, select, and here is the section we want to see 30. 
for the steel material uh, in the for the circumcon confinement in Incon I'm using Mander and uh, for the rebar and here select the rebar and using HRP 400 and the steel uh, and this is steel and now you select this steel using steel A36 and this is the dimension and size so we've defined the material as well for the structure and we're going to the uh, defined glue here is concluding and I want to add uh, 50,000 uh, kilonewtons actual force and a moment of 2,500 and a moment of 2,500 and in the bottom also be 2,300 and 2,300 in the bottom in the me now I'm going to close and going to the uh, result so the first we can see the section properties is given here and we can go to create the interaction curve So this is the interaction curve and uh, this column has uh, a very significant it's almost uh, 40,000 kilonewton uh, capacity this is 20 and 40,000 capacity in the moment it's also 3,000 if I go to the simple report and to see uh, this uh, column is passed or not and now we can see here uh, the result so the, the, the um, code we used and the material and the weight of the structure and the rebar uh, the rebar ratio is very less so we can more add more and and here is the capacity ratio 0 point which can uh, bear 50,000 actual force 22,500 uh, moment in the both direction so then it's become 0 point so uh, we uh, created, modeled, and analyzed, and finally designed the structure for a concrete column, a composite column. Now we can create a report and we can see all the available data for your client. Now uh, we also can see some other uh, plots, such as the computer plot and the actual load actual string actual load strain and also the edge pass the composite area and also the steel the concrete the rebar separately as well now uh, it's the uh, curvature now we can see the uh, actual load is 50,000 and the curvature the uh, the rotation angle is like this so in the in this load we have very small rotation and when the so this is the how you can explain and how you can see the result here and it's showing in the bottom the curvature curve and also we can go to the stress stream of loading and this is the stress distribution across the column so very less in this area because it's concrete so it's 40 but it's rich with this load 8 maximum uh, 8 megapascal and but in the steel area is very less uh, we can go to the uh, bottom and also we can use the bar stress and you can see here is about 150 kilo and also the stress bar stress is reached very small and uh, concrete strain uh, we also can go to the uh, the animation and we want to see how uh, it create animate for us and this is the uh, interactive curve and this is the column so I'm going to start uh, it's not showing And finally, we will see the detail of the result here. 
and we have applied this loot this moment this moment and um, and finally we got um, the maximum capacity ratio is there so for the remark we said okay the design is okay uh, we also can define a multiple curve and this is the pm curve and you can see if the concrete is 20 megapascal so this curve if it's 30 megapascal then the capacity curve is this one so as much as the concrete strength is increased so the capacity curve will increase because the concrete is the most uh, uh, strong uh, element for the compression so now we can see in case if i want to increase the number uh, let's uh, be to five and you can see when i'm going to five and and let's see it's creating for us uh, 20% and i should give the maximum to uh, 100 uh, let's see so it's start from 10 and start the maximum 100 so 10 4 then 60 then 80 then 90 so this is a very uh, visualized curve that we can understand as much as the concrete compressor will increase the capacity of the moment and actual force will increase uh, so now we are in the 40 so it's about 4000 uh, almost about 4000 uh, kilonewtons times meter and also about uh, 60,000 kilonewtons, uh, 40,000, 60 or 50,000 kilonewton actual load capacity is created by this material. So this is the end of the tutorial. Then you can say, if you have any question, then you can put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. Okay, see you next time.